The Whisper of the Worm quest has more secrets inside than one might think. Not only can you beat it and then go back to get the catalyst on Heroic, but there's a secret to this quest and it harks back to the days of the Vault of Glass, something I really enjoyed discovering. So let's go over all of the secret chest locations and how to trigger the oracles within the Black Spindle quest line. Guardians, what's up ladies and gentlemen of the nation, your boy Sly here, back at it with another guide for you all. And once again, we're heading back into the Black Spindle quest, but this time on Heroic. Now Heroic is pretty tough. Once you know how to do it on normal, and you've done it a few times, you can get through it with 6 plus minutes left easily. Just follow my guide, practice that, and you will be able to get through it easily as well. Heroic, however, well, that's a different beast. Not only does it come with an element burn, but it's also a level 400 recommended activity. That one you might just squeeze by because it is another ball game and the shields inside are no joke. Now, there really isn't a change to this in terms of like, you know, strategy or like, you know, the actual activity itself. Just don't be fooled by the burn modifier. Acrius and EP shotguns are still really good choice, as is the spindle itself. Just make sure someone has a solar and a void secondary because clearing the adds is that much more important than on normal. You would think that arc burn, you know, go ahead and get an arc secondary, that'll be better, right? Well, that's not the case. Make sure you match up your weapon to shield because you have to take care of those guys and take care of them pretty quickly. Anyways, once you clean up Heroic and you get the Catalyst, you now have to activate it by getting these things called Blighted Essences. You can earn a big stack once per week by beating it on Heroic after you've received the Catalyst, and then the other percentages come from a chest within this labyrinth of a jumping puzzle. Each time you open a chest, there will be a Blighted Essence inside, which of course will advance the Catalyst even more. After 5 chests total and a 6th secret one at the end, as well as beating it one extra time after you have the Catalyst, you can get your spindle up to 36% the very first week. Next week, you can do it again with a new burn, and then the third week, you will be able to beat it or finish it, unless, of course, there is a step two, which is entirely possible. But in this video, guys, I'm going to show you all the secret chest locations and how to activate and get through the oracles in order to get the secret ship schematic as well as some more blighted essences, which of course will help you advance the catalyst. Now, you can do this oracle and chest completely by yourself. You don't have to beat the encounter after you grab the chests and the oracles. You're going to want to restart the encounter to give yourself more time anyways. So this is something that is soloable. You just have to be quick in shooting the oracles. So be sure to have your spindle out and a very good scout rifle. So just to clear up some confusion, to start out, you already have to have your black spindle and you already have to have beat it on heroic so you can have the catalyst. You don't have to have your spindle equipped or in your inventory for you to pick these chests up. It will count your blighted essences towards it regardless. But in order for the chest to appear, you of course have to be in heroic. They don't appear on normal. So once you beat it on heroic, load the activity back up and then continue on like normal. You can use the Lost Sector shortcut like I showed in my last video, but you cannot use the others as you will see later on. Alright guys, so let's get to the first chest. Go ahead and jump down the hole and head towards the red hallway, but stop before you get to the red ledge below you. Go ahead and slide over to the left and look in front of you a little over to the right. You're going to see a hole in the wall above the ledge and it will kind of be glowing from the chest a little bit. Go ahead and jump on in there. Chest number one is located right here. Go ahead and open it up and then continue on like normal. So for chest number two, keep following the jumping puzzle until you get to the portal room, which is quite a ways off. Just keep going like you're supposed to, but instead of going through the last portal on your top right, go ahead and pass it by and make your way to the very far back wall. There will be a small ledge you can jump on. Just hit that and then follow it all the way down. Continue following the tunnels. Chest number two will be located in there. All right, so go back out the way you came, go down the correct portal, and now you're going to be in the place I like to call the cathedral. Also, the next two chests, three and four, will be located inside here. What you're going to do is first skip the shortcut and then hug the left wall until you see an opening. Just follow the opening and chest number three is located right here. All right, after you grab the chest, go ahead and come back out the way you came. And now we're getting chest number four, which is the worst one to get. It's located at the very top of this room. That's actually the way I went my first two times before finding the shortcut. So go ahead and make your way up the sides of the wall like you see here and then all the way around. You're basically making a big circle, except you're doing it <laughs> up on the wall. I found that jumping to the highest ledge as possible made jumping a little easier, but not really by that much. There's two paths here. There's like a middle path halfway up the wall, and then there's a high path. I found the high path to be a little easier. The thing here is just don't go in expecting clamber to work. 
Once you rely on it, it's not going to work. So just go in there and try not to use it at all. So make your way all the way around until you made just about an entire circle. Again, look for the small green ledges. And when you get to the last one, this one's a bit deceiving. Make sure you kick your jump in a bit sooner than usual. Or if you're a warlock, just go ahead and float the entire way without canceling your jump. This last ledge is angled just so that it can throw you off and you will end up shorting it. So over jumping is kind of the way to do it here, similar to the elevator. You of course will get the hang of it after you've done it a few times. So once you make it to the last ledge, now you're in kind of a, a tricky spot and you just have to go on blind faith. What you want to do is jump up and then left around the corner and then into the dark slit inside the wall. Just keep pushing forward the entire time. Now your jump will cut out and you will fall, but that's supposed to happen. As long as you jumped into that dark slit in the wall, you will land on the ledge. Just keep pressing forward and you will eventually just fall right on top of it. Go ahead and crouch. Chest number four is located right here. Okay, so moving on to chest number five, it's by the portal that I talked about in my last video. So instead of going left like you're supposed to go, this time hang a right and follow the ledges on the right side of the wall. You will see the portal in the distance. So go ahead, jump to it, walk through the portal, and don't worry about the spawning oracles, just keep going. Behind the portal, there will be this little tiny island. Go ahead and try to make it to that, and then follow like you see here. Chest number five is located right around the corner. Once you grab all five chests, you can now do the oracles. The amount of oracles that spawn depend on the number of chests that you've opened. If you've only opened the easy ones, then only half of the oracles will spawn. You have to open all five for the oracles to work properly. If you don't get it in time or if you restart the encounter, you have to go back, pick up all five chests again, even though you've already grabbed them, and then just to do the oracles. Like I said, it just won't work, and yes, I have tried it. So once you pick up the chest, make it to the portal and stand within the ring. This will then start that familiar oracle sound from the vault of glass. The oracles will flash and dance all over the place at first and then burn brightly all at one time. Don't shoot them until they are done flashing. Wait until they have all spawned in. Also, you're going to be numbering these things. Number one is the first one on your left. The last one on your far right is number seven. One through seven from left to right. It's best to use Black Spindle on the third sequence and Scout Rifle for the first two. If you don't shoot these guys fast enough, they will disappear, and you're going to have to restart it at sequence one. Alright, so the Oracle Encounter, after they stop dancing and flashing, the first sequence is one, three, five in that order. So take out Oracle number one, it'll make a sound when you know you've shot it enough. Then number three, and finally five. If you've done it correctly, they will all disappear. Now get ready for the second sequence. Once again, they'll dance and flash again. Just wait until they're all lit up in front of you. Sequence two, four, six, seven, three, one. Once again, hit them all in the right order. Or they will disappear. The final order, you have to hit all seven of them. So sequence three, seven, three, one, six, four, two, five. If you've done it all correctly, a chest will spawn right by your feet. And congratulations, my friend, you have done it. There will be a ship schematic inside and some more blighted essences to further your catalyst. Once you've done that, take a look at your ship schematic. You're going to have to beat this encounter with three different burns. And arc burn is this first week's burn. So make sure you get that done before it changes out to next week. Otherwise, you're going to have to wait three weeks until it comes back again. But that is about it, Guardians. Those are all five chests plus the Oracle encounter in one video. Just make sure that once you have your catalyst for the spindle, wait to run it again until you get the ship schematic. Otherwise, you're going to have to run it yet another time to check that box off for this week's element burn, which, like we said earlier, was Ark. I know one thing. The week it's going to be solar, it's going to be an absolute cakewalk. But that's it for me, guys. As always, thank you so much for watching and for supporting Sly Nation. Subscribe for more Destiny 2 and Anthem videos. Spank the thumbs up only if you enjoyed yourself and feel free to check me out on Twitter or Facebook. Sly Nation, Sly Nation Gaming on the FB. Later y'all and keep those eyes open for more videos coming out here soon. But until then, this is your dude Sly and I'll catch you guys next time. Yeah.